That's right, liquid power. Hey folks, Peter here from BlackRock Business. Today we're going to talk about QuickBooks point of sale like we always do, and you're going to learn something new. Welcome to the channel, I'm glad you're here. Today we are going to talk about adding an employee to QuickBooks point of sale. That's right, you've hired a new employee and you're ready to get them going on QuickBooks point of sale to learn the ropes as a cashier, but how do you get them into the system? You need to know because you need to do this for each and every one of your employees. Before we jump into it, don't forget to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions, uh, request videos, talk about errors or workflows, what have you, with people such as me and the rest of the QuickBooks Point of Sale community that we have put together. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you get all the latest and greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos. All right, let's do this. Here we are, we are in QuickBooks Point of Sale. I am going to mention one little setting in preferences here, preferences and company. If you go there and it shows up in the very top tab here, general, in the general area, you can choose to either require users to log in or, uh, and along with that, you can have them automatically log out after each sale. Like it's pretty annoying, but it makes sure that the right people are getting tagged on the sales. Uh, you can use this if you definitely want people to uh, log in and be sure that they're using the right set of maybe security rights, which are attached to employees, by the way. So you have that there, and you can either require it or not. If you, if you don't have this checked, then it doesn't really require anybody to log in. The only time they'll be logging in, then if you have this off, would be if they're like clocking into the the time clock for their wages and they don't wanna forget to do that, of course, that would be bad. All right, so I just thought I'd point that out. Let's get back to it real quickly. I'm gonna cancel out of there. Now we're gonna go up to the employees menu and I'm gonna hit employees list. So here I only have two actual employees already. We got Samantha and Bob. And uh, Samantha here, we can see that she is not an hourly worker. Maybe she gets paid salary. And salary is just wonderful, you know. You can have somebody working 80 hours a week and you only got to pay them a certain amount. Or it can go the other way. Maybe they don't do what they're told, but you still have to pay them uh, those big bucks. So that's your decision, of course. The third one you see here is sysadmin, and that is an automatic... Uh, user it's always in QuickBooks point of sale you can kind of just ignore that but let's add this new employee I'm gonna hit new employee up here at the top it's gonna come up with a blank set of fields and we just hired a new employee and her name is um, let's see her name is Genevieve <laughs> um, that's her login name actually so we're gonna say her name is Genevieve I think that's a terrible spelling, sorry. Genevieve, uh, what's a good last name? Genevieve Blankness, which is an interesting last name. Uh, you can go ahead and fill in street one, street two, city, state, zip. You can put all of these in and it will flow over to QuickBooks Accounting for payroll, which is an excellent thing to do to have your time clock in here and automatically have payroll going on in QuickBooks Accounting. So she lives on Easy Street uh, in Rochester, New York, or something like that. All right, now, it's good to have people's phone numbers in here because then you can know how to get a hold of them. If you don't have their phone number anywhere else, you can put it here. We got phone, mobile, email is excellent because if you put an email in here then later when you bring this up you can hit send mail and it'll automatically allow you to just jump right into sending an email right uh, you could also I don't know have an emergency contact for out contact and out phone now some important fields in here these are just really informational fields that we've done so far but very important fields if you have that login enabled then you may want to add this uh, employee to a security group uh, maybe she just got hired and she doesn't know what she's doing and you just want her to be an associate who has the least amount of rights or maybe you've uh, created a custom security group and you want to add them to that 
or maybe she's uh, a big wig in the retail uh, sector and you're hiring her because of her wonderful knowledge and you're going to make her a manager so that she has more rights in point of sale to do things than other people. And then of course you are going to want to figure out whether you want them to be tracked hourly for their wages or if their salary you can leave this off or if you have some other time clock or payroll system you can leave this off. But if you are going to use the time clock in QuickBooks point of sale you're going to want to check this. And then at the end of en entering all this information, you may want to create her a password and you can create and confirm that password so that every time she logs in or every time she does her time clock, she needs to put her password in. Don't make it too hard because that might slow down her day, right? Just make it a short, easy password. It's not like this is available on the internet or anything like that. Now over in the custom tabs here for creating an employee, you can have special notes about this employee. You can date stamp those notes. So it's like, okay, today uh, I cut Jen stealing <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe uh, she's allergic to bananas. I don't know. Some information you might want to keep about here or know about here. You can put it here because you're going to be using point of sale a lot. Or you could put it in QuickBooks Accounting. There's note fields in there as well. You can also print out the notes. I don't know. It's it's a feature. You can do it. Now, you will see over here in the custom area, area I have employee since and birthday. Now, these are custom fields that I've created just for employees. Uh, you can define the fields here or you can do it in the settings area. Uh, these are not going to be here by default. You can create whatever custom fields you want. Check out our video about that and then you'll know how to do that. Well, my name's Peter with BlackRock Business, and this pretty much concludes adding an employee to QuickBooks Point of Sale. Thanks for coming along for the ride. I hope you have a stupendous day. Bye.